You were born with individual strengths and a unique purpose. Don't let fears, false beliefs, or life's happenings diminish your influence. It's time to live and lead for impact. Host Kirsten Ross, expert of transformation, will help you defeat the drama and overcome the trauma that can stop you in your tracks. You'll gain focus, find confidence, and take bold action. Unleash passionate, purposeful you. Let's go. Welcome to Live and Lead for Impact. I'm Kirsten Ross Vogel, your host, and this is episode 236. Today, I am talking about the key whys and hows of celebrating your team. Super important topic. You know, to create a great culture, you really must pair accountability with celebration, praise, and recognition. As leaders, we, and as an extension, our teams can become extremely task oriented, which is good. However, with a full 100% focus on outcomes, leaders can unintentionally miss opportunities to acknowledge progress or celebrate success. In this circumstance, the team just moves immediately from one task and project to the next, and there's lost opportunity to unite as a community, acknowledge accomplishments, and celebrate. You know, years ago, someone asked me what my definition of success was, and at first, it seemed like a really simple question. <laughs> but once I started thinking about it, I realized it was more complex. In the end, after much contemplation, I arrived at a definition that has served me since. Success is best defined and lived out with a blend of celebration for what you've achieved, along with some discontent that ignites excitement for what will come next. Focus only on what comes next and you'll be left constantly yearning for a future that hasn't happened yet, always driving towards achievement to relieve your discontent. Living with only celebration for what has already occurred, however, can leave you feeling unmotivated. I did that big thing. Now what? And it's also a full focus on the past. A healthy team really needs a blend of both. Most often, it's the celebration side of the equation that gets less attention. As we work to do more with smaller teams, our busyness understandably has us hyper-focusing on task and completion. And when challenges, hiccups, or emergencies arise, we have to shift our attention there for an immediate reaction and response. So today, I encourage you to be intentional about building praise. Celebration, recognition, and praise can be simple and don't have to require a lot of time or planning. So as you integrate celebration, make sure it's spread throughout the organization. Most teams engage in activities that require participation from individuals across departments, or at least across employees. Some work behind the scenes, while others are more front and center. No team functions well without the whole, and every task is important. This is really important to keep top of mind because there's a tendency again, unintentional, but to focus on the people or departments at the front of the effort and a missed opportunity often to show gratitude for those working behind the scenes. This can absolutely create division and friction within the organization. Humans will work to win accolades, sometimes subconsciously. Recognition that focuses too much on those at the front may motivate teams to prioritize their own work over where they can support from behind. And we don't want that. The thought, if I can focus on our own team's agenda, perhaps will be acknowledged. It's an innate desire. Keep that in mind. This can delay important organization work. Instead, make appreciation and acknowledgement abundant. Get teams working together towards common goals rather than working to meet their own departmental agendas first. This can create silos within your organization. Even smaller teams can have silos when the focus is on working hard to get that acknowledgement. I believe there's an innate desire to be known, acknowledged, and appreciated. When gratitude is a scarce resource, you end up fostering a what about me syndrome. Any little crumb of acknowledgement or appreciation to one person leaves others thinking, yeah, but what about me? Humans yearn for appreciation when it's lacking. For the good of the team, the goal needs to be to spread gratitude abundantly but always authentically. So focus on looking for reasons to celebrate. From a perception perspective, our brains are miraculous. They're able to take in millions of pieces of data in every second. As humans, we're only able to focus though on about six to seven pieces of data at once. 
So we need to train our brains to keep certain data available for ready access. I call it on our radar. We get to choose which data to notice, retain, and act on. So there are opportunities for you to thank your team. You just may not be in the habit of looking. If this is the case, retrain your brain by practicing. Seek out a set number of opportunities to appreciate someone weekly or daily. Maybe you're unwilling to thank people for some reason. Some clients I've worked with are uncomfortable giving praise. Or I've definitely heard the person who said, why would I thank people if I'm giving them a paycheck? So if this is you, please work on it. Those are false beliefs. So uh, you want to work on it. Seek out a coach who can help you. I am happy to help you if this is one of your little challenges. Either way, choosing to look for things to celebrate will help you realign your focus to the positive things happening. And there are plenty, even if it feels like everything's gone going awry and you feel overwhelmed. So celebration is an important element to bringing a team together. Look how excited football players get during a game. Grown men high-fiving each other, patting each other. Celebration motivates everyone towards a common goal. Set achievable goals and then celebrate when you achieve them. Celebration doesn't have to mean party hats and champagne or spending a lot of money. It can be ringing a bell, playing a victory song, high-fiving, sending out a congratulations email to the team, doing something via Zoom during one of your team meetings, writing out a card, having a pizza lunch, having lunch delivered to someone at their home if they're working remotely. Individual acknowledgement can come in so many forms. Employees who are asked to weigh in on an idea or participate in designing the rollout of a new program feel trusted and valued. You can also provide opportunities for team members to present at organization events or to your board or go represent you at a networking event. New and special opportunities are a great way to help someone feel special. So here in a nutshell are the recommendations. One, show plenty of appreciation to all. Make recognition abundant, but authentic. Two, catch employees doing something good and then let them know in a way that is valuable to them. Keep in mind that some people like uh, in front of others praise and others like a little more private praise. Uh, Three, make sure that acknowledgements after events or program rollouts include both the front and center teams and the employees who worked in the background. Next, leaders, change your mindset. Be on the lookout for the good every day. Create specific goals daily or weekly to show authentic appreciation. Next, take a moment to acknowledge the cool things happening. Even even if it's in a small way, hit a gong or a bell, send out a group email when something goes well. There are so many ways. I mean, as a leader, if you say this pen is important and shows your value, it will. Uh, Utilize wow boards, a place to showcase letters of appreciation from customers and thank yous from employees to their teammates. Uh, You know, in virtual world, there are easy ways to create Uh, dashboards or places that look like sticky notes where people can, um, where things can be posted absolutely, or shared folders, all kinds of uh, creative ways to do that. And lastly, seek out ways to reward employees with special opportunities to represent the organization, speak at an event, um, attend a special training, share at a board meeting. Time with you or other leaders on your team is also likely a coveted reward. There are so many ways to show special treatment and appreciation for members of your team. So that's it. And if you're looking for additional uh, insights on how to build your own high performing team to make your bigger, bolder impact, I encourage you to hop into the Impact Academy. You can find it by going to myimpactacademy.com forward slash join. You get two weeks free with 24 seven access to so many digital resources that I've created over 20 years, Uh, video, audio, PDF download. Uh, And you also get every other week time with me uh, live. And uh, it's great. We've been having so much fun in those uh, with networking and strategizing together. Uh, Lots of great outcomes. So hop in, plan to uh, join one of our group coaching and strategy sessions. Come with your own questions to get customized strategies for your current challenge. All right, get out there, make it a great day and make your big impact. The world is waiting. 